If you're trying to install Windows 10 on your Mac laptop, this is the tutorial for you. You can install Windows 10 on any Mac that is Intel Mac only. So if you have the M1 Mac, the M1 chips, that doesn't support Windows as of now. With the older Macs that has Intel chip, you can install it via bootcamp. I'll show you the entire process step by step how you have to do it. So let's switch over to my Mac and I will show you the entire process. So I'm recording this on my phone because for obvious reasons during the restarts the screen recording can't work. So this is the way we are going to do it. So first thing you have to do is go and search for download Windows 10 ISO. You will get the Microsoft link only download it from this don't go to some shady website and download the windows 10 iso that might cause problems for your computer it might not be safe so the official website it is free just go and download there you don't have to even log in you can just select this choose your configuration and you can download so now i have already downloaded the windows 10 iso and i'm not going to download it again the next step you don't need a uh, usb now in the old ways you needed a usb to install the boot camp you don't need it anymore so no need for a usb just go into boot camp the boot camp assistant will open up now in the boot camp assistant all you have to do is just read the thing and then just hit next now it is showing me that there is something connected to the usb so i have to disconnect it so i'm doing that right now i'm disconnecting the usb and um, ejection thing comes up so after that you hit continue so now i have sped this up so that it doesn't take a lot of time this thing takes a little time now here you can just select how much space you want to give for your bootcamp partition i am only giving it 48 gigs but it depends on how much you want to use it i just want to use some legacy apps on it something that i needed for my work so i'm just using the minimum the installation after it is done it is going to take about 31 gigs directly so make sure that you have enough space for whatever you're doing i don't need much space so that's why i'm only selecting 48 gigs so the next thing now i've sped this up it's actually downloading something and it's installing it's doing the thing so this uh, depends on your internet and also how fast your luck is basically so it, it can take various amounts of times i've f sped this up so that we don't have to sit through this now this is sped up a lot actually so don't panic it will take some time just wait patiently for these steps to finish Now after it's done your computer is going to reboot don't touch anything it is going to do it on its own. So you can see me sitting there and recording so after this it is directly going to boot into windows. You will see this logo pop up and now I sped it up again because it takes some time. You will see setting up windows now this is common for what you're doing. If, if you have ever installed windows you're going to see this thing here what you have to note is it's scaled up very small so you might have to go into your screen literally go into your screen and do it but you know it, it's scaled up very small i don't know how how this became so bad so just select i don't have a product key after that you're going to select the bootcamp partition make sure you select the right partition don't select the wrong partition even if you have a product key don't put your product key in the last step because there is no internet on this right now it's not it doesn't have the drivers so don't put it there right now just select i don't have a key right now and you can set it up later on here you have to do the i agree thing so just select the bootcamp partition and it is going to start the installation so the installation now i've sped it up again uh, it, this will take some time be very patient and don't switch off your Mac during this process make sure that you have connected it to the power source so it, it's going to do its thing it takes some time once 
it is finished then you can shut down your computer for no reason don't shut it down right now there could be some issues later on so after this you can see it's restarting so just let it restart on its own so again it's going to boot up into your windows it's going to complete the installation there are some steps that it needs to do so it's actually getting your services ready drivers ready all those things so it's, it's actually setting it up now many people make one mistake after this thing is done they actually stop the installation they start shut it down and that will make your windows not work well on your mac because after this bootcamp has to install some steps so don't skip don't don't directly skip that so here you're going to select your region and then you're going to select your keyboard and stuff pretty standard stuff so just hit ok on that then you have your keyboard layout selection again now it doesn't have a network because obviously the drivers are not installed don't panic here just hit the uh, setup later here so once that is done it's again going to prompt you that you need internet you need internet just skip this there's nothing else you can do because the machine doesn't have drivers already so it, it can't con communicate right now now just put in your name whatever username you want just set it up set up a password for it it will ask for three security questions just put that in there now here these are the settings that i have used you can select whatever you want that's just what a, how much information you want to give to microsoft whether you want to co use cortana just select that so I'm going to use Cortana so I just selected yes now this is a splash screen that comes up after you install so let's wait for that now you will hear that many people complain that uh, in bootcamp they are not able to get Wi-Fi or they are not able to get certain things that's because they are skipping these steps this is the most important step please don't close the bootcamp assistant that came up here if you close this then it's it's not going to work so here the scaling is really bad just hit enter don't just hit enter here and the bootcamp assistant is going to install its things don't cancel this don't force close or anything it will take a lot of time it took a significant amount of time and once it was done then it'll, it'll run this script once it is done just restart your computer don't skip this restart i would suggest restart here don't uh, try to use your computer directly just restart here and it will restart it will boot back directly into windows don't go into the selection right now because that will cause it problems this is the first time it's starting up so it will take some time but once it started up it's done now your bootcamp assistant completed its process now you are ready for using your windows 10 now you can see everything works even the wi-fi and everything is working i get the net options and everything else is working speakers bluetooth whatever you want everything is working now how do you go back into your mac just go into the power options restart and while you're restarting hold the alt button so hold down the alt button when the computer is rebooting so i'll be showing you that right now so this is the key that you have to hit right now just hold it down and you can see me holding it down and you will get this option now first time you will see three selections just select the windows and mac this is the only time you will see three the next time you will reboot you will only see one selection so i'll again reboot into my windows partition 
and you will see that you, there are only two options now so again I'm rebooting and holding down the alt in the alt command holding down the alt again and as you can see there are only two options so now I have a Windows and Apple Mac this is how it should be now you are safe to use your laptop you can select whatever operating system you want and everything works you can access files from your windows and also your mac partition simultaneously and that will work so this is how you set it up use these steps and i'm sure you will be happy this was jace for top i i'll see you in the next video